Earth. From space, it's a beautiful planet with whisks of blues, greens, and whites highlighting all the planet has to offer. But there's one thing you don't clearly see. Climate change. As we continue to pump carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, the planet's temperature continues to increase and there's no stop button we can press. Temperatures are rising and while this is happening, we're losing prime ecosystems and species of plants and animals as they try to adapt to new weather patterns and surges in repeated, once in 500 year, extreme weather events. Nowhere or no one is exempt. Down the Angel Oak Lined Roads in the low country of South Carolina lies one of the last areas populated by descendants of slaves. St. Helena Island is home to the Gullah Geechee people, a pride group of people who have farmed the same plots of land since the 1700s when they arrived from the west coast of Africa. And they're not going anywhere. Instead, they're learning to adapt to climate change. Benjamin Holmes grew up farming on St. Helena Island. Okra, watermelons, and other crops initially brought from Africa are what he and his family grew. As an adult, he has noticed changes in not only how his crops grew, but the new weather scenarios that were introduced to them. When did you notice climate change uh, affecting your crops? Uh, I think it was about 2004, because uh, on the homestead where I grew up, things that we was able to do because you can almost bank that at a certain time it was going to rain, the temperature was going to be right, and that had went away. And then, like I said, it's been about 14 years since I've noticed it. And on average, how has it affected what, you, what you're able to harvest? Uh, a lot, because I've discovered uh, recently, I planted some fall squash and the bush and everything matured, but the temperature was so hot, it wasn't able to uh, grow the fruit that's needed on it and it just mush away.